So I kind of woke up late, needed to get outside to do some morning stretches. Just hitting some break dancing poses for a bit, trying to stretch out right now. I got some music playing on the M2 Air right now. There's just no copyright music because I don't want to get flagged by YouTube, so I'm just playing with whatever they got going on. It can get pretty loud. As you can tell, like this is really, really bright outside, and I've got the screen sitting right here. If you guys can see that, yeah, that's 500 nits of brightness being put to work. What do you guys think, huh? It's a bright screen. Yeah, so if you guys are worried about using the M2 Air out in like bright sunlight, don't worry, it's very doable. I'm like, you know, changing songs, check out my screen. You can also probably tell that I'm putting this M2 Air on like the grass a lot, so there's like a lot of like clippings and stuff like that, but there's no like vents or any fans on this machine, so I'm not too worried about stuff getting inside of the ports. I mean, other than just maybe the MagSafe port or the USB-C. Everything is pretty solid so far. I mean, very light too, see? Coming in at 3.3 pounds. And like I said in my previous M2 Air review, uh, I really dig these rounded corners. It just feels so nice handling, moving it in and out. Here's my backpack. You can kind of like just drop it in, you know? You can just move it out, put it back in. It's super smooth. This machine is really well built. And if you guys don't know me by now, I like to get really hands-on with like the tech products I review. So, hey, they really got some good stuff on the build quality department. Good check marks there. But yeah, it's a pretty beautiful hot day outside. I think I'm gonna do a couple more handstands and some stretches right before I get to the library after this. So, uh, let's hit that up. Pack up, it's way too hot. Oh shoot, there's no water left either. Alright, so for today's agenda is I gotta apply for some jobs. I'm gonna look over my resume a little bit. I graduated from Tumble University just last month with a Bachelor of Science in Health Information Management. I still have access to go to like the school buildings for a little bit until like the next semester starts, but it's still cool to use the resources here. I can use like the gym, I can get into the dance studio, I can get to the library, I can do a bunch of things. So I'm trying to use it all I can before it expires on me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I also gotta download a few of the apps on the MacBook, like DaVinci Resolve, my video editing software. So I actually had to move, someone had that study room book, but some of these jobs I'm applying for are like marketing coordinator for the school. Um, I'm also having another health resume that I'm like trying to tailor it to the job that I'm applying for. So part of the game is kind of like giving the people what they want, I think. Um, so I do kind of mix and match some of my experiences and stuff that I did before. For anyone out there that's kind of like job searching like me, uh, let me know down below what your experiences are like and how you are writing your resumes and, and all that. I kind of want to hear what you guys got going on putting a lot of my experiences in terms of what I did for my own channel. I also was vlogging for my school's channel and as well as um, interning at this pediatric database company for a little bit, so. So I just got back home. I'm really tired and I gotta take a nap real quick. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Really? 
So all my buddies got bikes, but I'm taking an electric skateboard right now. Let's we'll see if I can catch up. Okay, so I'm here with my friends. We finally made it to a rooftop park. I'm gonna pull up the M2. So, hang, what do you think of this, bro? This is big. Like, this is really big compared to the older one. I like the screen real estate on this. Yeah. Wait, I thought there would be grills here for the oh, speakers. You grills? That's what I thought, but the speakers come from the back. Speakers from the back? Oh, yeah, that should get pretty loud. Speakers from the back. The keys are big, that's nice. I really like that. You have the M1 before, right? I have the M1. Can you hold this for me? Hold my view. It's a lot more space here. Bigger mouse pad, I like that. It's just a bigger laptop in general. Definitely better. Mine was a little bit thinner, so it was like easy to crack. Like I kept it in my school backpack. What do you think is the perfect size? Because we've been waiting how, for this What's long the time. inches on this? 15. 17? 15? 15 inches. It doesn't look like 15 though, right? It looks like it's 17. It's pretty compact still. It does feel really light. Like for how big it is, it's really light. I like that. Yeah. Still no fans on the bottom. Still no fans on the bottom. So how does it get cool? It doesn't need one. It doesn't get really? that hot. The screen looks really nice actually. Yeah. I like how clean it is, I like how sleek it is, I like how thick it is, I like how sexy it is, I like how like everything. There you yeah, go. You up the laptop. There you go, there you go. <laughs> 